Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel and I welcome you to today's Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you the exact process on how I designed this birdie flyer in Adobe Photoshop. So first of all, you open your Adobe Photoshop and then you go to File, click on New and then give your project a name. Then leave the rate at 8 and then the height as 9 leave the unit at inches the resolution as 300 and then click on create good so head over to your view and then click on new guide and then change the position to 10 percent and then click on ok go back again new guide this time around 90 percent and then click on OK. Go back again. New guide 10%. And this time around, toggle the horizontal orientation here. And then click on OK. Go back again. New guide 90%. And then click on OK. Good. Now go to your shape to click on rectangle to and then draw a rectangle shape like this good go to your fx click on gradient overlay all right now we have we are going to use this color code so this is the first one we have 037d06 all right and then the right one is 010c00 and then click on ok and make sure you leave the right color code all right this one at the location should be at 55 percent then click on ok and then leave the style at radial or radial and then the angle should be one degree and then you click on ok good and go to your folder and then drag and drop this image here like this Now stretch it out. Wait. Okay. Now right click on the image and then click on rasterize layer. Go to your eraser tool, right click on it and then select the eraser tool. Right. And then let's erase off the edges like this. Because we don't want it. We only want the middle parts. Okay. Alright, now this is good to me. So let's stretch it out a bit like this. Now click on the image, go to image, click on adjustments, and then click on hue and saturation. Let's increase the saturation. at 15 good now head over to your folder again then drag and drop this image right here rasterize it now with the image selected go to select click on subject and then on your keyboard press on ctrl plus g to duplicate all right now let's get rid of the original one. Good. All right. Now we are going to do some kind of color grading to this image. So with your image selected, go to images or image tab, click on adjustments, and then select the um, selective color. All right. And the colors, select the reds, and then do these changes.
out and click on ok all right now drag it down like this and then on your keyboard press on ctrl plus j to duplicate okay now on your keyboard again press on ctrl plus t and then right click on it and then click on flip horizontal right now let's drag it right below this one like this awesome now select the background press on ctrl plus g to it. move it on top like this alright now let's um, change the size to radial and change the angle to 90 degrees minus 90 degrees and click on ok now right click on it and then click on rasterize it go to your result and then get rid of the upper parts because we don't want the upper parts we don't want the lower parts go to like this awesome all right now go to your shape tool and select the ellipse tool and draw a circle like this keep it right here and we'll click on fx click on gradient to value Change the style to radial. All right. Now press on Control Plus to duplicate it again and decrease the size like this and then change the color to FS E7 Alright, now go back to your shape tool, right click on it and then click on ellipse tool and draw a circle and turn off this and turn on this, give it a white color. click on it and then raster it. Go to your polygonal lasso tool and then get rid of the middle parts like this because we don't want that part. And then on your keyboard press on delete, right click on it and then select deselect. Alright, select this image, go to effects, select drop shadow Let's do some adjustments here. Change the angle to zero. Now let's add our text. So go to your text tool and then add your text. Alright, now with this text selected, press on Ctrl plus T, right click on it and then click on 
rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Take on this guy and position it right here. Go to your shape tool, select the rectangle tool, and then draw a shape like this to fill up the entire space. And then turn off this and then give it a stroke color. Change this to this and increase the size to 5 or oh, 3. 3 is good. Right click on it to rasterize. go to view and then click on clear canvas guys right go to your user tool select the user tool and then get rid of this part this part and this part and go to opacity and reduce it to from 50% this is good now let's try and then do some more adjustments to the um, pictures here. Now this looks good to me. Alright, so thank you so much for watching the video till um, the very end. If you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly do so. And if you have subscribed, so thank you so much. 